Drew and I did a simultaneous build of zoo enclosures. I'll show you what I got and what he did. <laughs> Just spent the last hour and a half designing some new enclosures for the zoo. I have a lot more to go, so I'm trying to get these done. I don't have much time. And after an hour and a half, I'm working on my elephant enclosure. This is what I got so far. Now you've seen all the other enclosures so far if you've been watching along, and most of them have walls and glass windows. I didn't want that for the elephant enclosure, so in this case I did similar to my original elephant enclosure in the original zoo. It is still a small area for the elephant, but we are out of space. I do have a few things going on in here I'll show you, and you can see we have this nice, lovely waterfall which I'm working on. Where does the water come from? It comes from the top here. Where does it come from after that? I don't know, it's Lego magic or something. But the elephant needs a place for water, needs a place to roll around in the water. Now there's not a lot of room, but he can get wet there. He can go in under the waterfall and get wet and cool himself down. Not much on the other area of this built yet, just kind of a sparse area with some sand. I'm still working on that. And I like it. We'll see how the elephant fits in here. I'm going to take the elephant. He's rather large, which elephants are supposed to be. And here's the brick, bit, brick built elephant. It's from the carousel set. I didn't like the carousel that much. I took him out. And here he is. And he fits in here nicely. He can reach the waterfall. I think that looks pretty cool. I'll walk around a little bit and get stared at by the curious visitors. Let's check out what Drew accomplished in the last hour and a half. I tasked Drew, actually he came up with the idea, I didn't task him. He said, why don't we both build an enclosure? He said, perfect. I said, I'll tell you what animal enclosure you're building and I'll let you know what I'm building. So I did the elephants and Drew is doing a split enclosure. Half snakes, half insects. So it's going to have spiders and possibly scorpions in it too. And let's take a look at what he got. So after an hour and a half, this is what Drew came up with, and he did an awesome job with the layout, just like I was thinking, where the enclosure, the windows on both sides, and smaller exhibits. So we have one for bugs, one for the snakes. Now, that's what he did. It's pretty cool. Very sparse right now. He needs a lot of help. He spent most of the time searching for pieces to do the outside of this. Kind of reminds me of Batman a little bit. I did recommend you know, using darker colors for the snakes. The snakes are bright colored, there's red snakes, there's green snakes. The spiders, on the other hand, are a little bit lighter. But he did add some nifty features in here. One of them is these little pieces with holes. I think it's because he didn't have the bricks he needed. That's what he, I don't know. But we got this little arm claw thing here. I'm not sure what that's for, but I had an idea. It's may maybe you want to pick up the, the giant spider in there. You can see there's two spiders in there. Some little tan one, and then this big black spider it's actually part of a minifig. It goes on the back of a kind of emo or goth minifig. I don't know. But I'll show you what my idea is for this hole over here. Let me grab this. Get this box over here. And I was thinking where this grabby claw thing is to put something like this there so we can have a branch coming out. Maybe this will be the snake side, not the spider side. And you can have snakes in the trees. A lot of times when I've seen the zoo enclosures with the snakes, they have a lot of trees and the boas like the green emerald boas are hanging from the trees and wrapped around the trees. So we need to add some foliage in here, add something to the ground, put some dirt or grass, water, a mixture of both, maybe some logs, kind of like the bear enclosure. If you check that one out, that's a really fun one. I really liked building that one. But this is a start. I see I'm missing a piece here. I think that's what he was talking about. He was saying something about a 1x2 black. I was not paying attention. Well, I was, and I didn't know why he needed it. So, But these are the two enclosures. They will be finished in a little bit and you'll see the final products of these as well. Um, the only thing I might change on this is lowering the window by one level. So it comes right to the top and I want to drop it down so there's only one level and then the windows and then that black can be on the top of the window. But otherwise, it's a good start. I like it. It's perfect for snakes. I do have bats, so maybe we could do bats in here if I don't want to put the snakes in this. We'll see. It's Lego. One thing I forgot to mention, while Drew only built the outside, so did I. I did steal this from the one of the jungle builds, but I've been modifying it, taking pieces off, adding this waterfall on the front, and then this area on top I'm going to fill mostly with pieces you won't see inside, and then add some like loose pieces like these from the polar bear exhibit you saw, these loose blue pieces, just to add some water which runs down the side here, because the water's got to come from somewhere, not sure where it's coming from. These are fun builds got to finish them up, and I hope you stay tuned to see more of them. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter at Built From Bricks. 
as well as our monthly live stream, which is on the third Thursdays of each month at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? I don't know what I'm saying. Drew and I did a simul build. Both build. Both build, 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 build. Drew and I did a simultaneously build. Sim